I'm now going to measure the time period and the voltage amplitude of a sine wave. I'll freeze the screen, stop it running so I can play around and uh, it won't move. So I've got a choice. I can choose amplitude or uh, time to uh, make my measurements. If I take the amplitude as my first option, amplitude please, and now I can move my cursors starting at the bottom minus 5.12 volts I'll accept that and move to channel cursor 2 cursor 2 I can move that up the screen 7.4 volts I'll accept that that's given us a voltage total voltage peak to peak of around about 12.1 volts so the difference between those two or the addition of them, taking the minus 5 to a positive peak to peak, is giving us around about 12 volts. So now, if I select time, and now I can move my cursors about. So my first cursor for channel 1, if I take it at just over a volt in the horizontal position, then when I come to do the reading on the second cursor, if it's around about the same 1.04 volts, around about by here somewhere, I'm in the same place on the waveform and that's where I need to be. So if we accept that, go to my second cursor, and now where the waveform hits the horizontal, at around about 1.04 volts it would be perfect. Can't quite get it. I've got a choice, 1.36960 millivolts, I'll take that. So now we can see that we have a period going from 8.2 milliseconds to 10.3 milliseconds, that's just over 2 milliseconds of, of period and 2.06 milliseconds is what the scope is telling me that value is. So that's measuring using cursors on a sine wave.